You deserve a jail term. Meg trembles as King Charles thwarted her selling palace items on eBay. Illegal. Meg shocked as King Charles asked to jail her for selling palace items on eBay. Allegations of misconduct surround Meghan Markle, accusing her of trespassing at the palace and selling goods on eBay. In a recent development, a self-proclaimed palace thief made astonishing claims against Meghan Markle. According to this anonymous source, Meghan was accused of twice participating in selling stolen goods in the palace when she was a guest of the Prince and Princess of Wales. The first alleged incident occurred when Meghan snuck into Charlotte's nursery and took pictures. Suspicion arose when staff noticed a correlation between the break-in and the theft of objects from the palace, as well as allegations of bullying of staff. Meghan's actions became even more daring when she was caught in the act by a vigilante palace employee haunting Princess Charlotte's room. Interestingly, Meghan was also accused of taking photos of the nursery in which Princess Charlotte was sleeping. When the Duchess Catherine of Cambridge raised these concerns with Prince William and Harry, Meghan defended her actions and insisted she had done nothing wrong. However, it is important to note that these events took place at a time when initial allegations of theft, bullying, and internal leaks within the palace were being investigated. A few months later, secret investigations were initiated in the palace due to the disappearance of many objects. Some of these missing items originated from sales on eBay and Etsy. Even though the person responsible in the palace has been arrested, Megan's involvement in tracking and taking possession of previously sold items appears to have been overlooked. Fast forward to the recent verdict of a palace employee named Atto, who worked as a kitchen assistant in Buckingham Palace. Atto was sentenced to eight months in prison after admitting three counts of theft between November 2019 and August 2020. Police recovered a significant amount of stolen items from his employee's work area. Anto expressed injustice by pointing out that a working royal had committed similar actions without facing consequences. The recovered stolen goods were estimated to be worth about $136,000, with some items being sold on eBay for a fraction of their actual value. Amongst the stolen items were prestigious medals in a photo album showing images of the Queen's state banquet. President Trump visited Britain in June 2019. Atto claimed that he resorted to theft due to financial difficulties, even taking a limited edition pocket watch and a Samsung mobile phone that was made specifically for Prince Andrew's second son. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle was said to have toppled over a cliff and was burned. She waited for her statements in the dot-com news segment. The royal commentator also addressed the couple's dwindling popularity. She started by saying, While last year the pair won the silver medal for the number of Netflix stocks beaten by Tinder scammers, the series was the most watched of all time, and his book became the best-selling non-fiction title of all time. Those successes caused their popularity to peak and become a small member here, considering how drastically the situation has changed. If indeed the Duchess needs to move away from Harry's victimhood narrative to become a viable commercial prospect, what does it say about the Sussexes' chosen path up until this point that they're now seen as a toxic couple and that Meghan is said to now have to undo the damage that they have themselves caused? The Duchess now needs to escape Harry's victim narrative, supposedly, so everyone can know who she really is. The numbers, though, start to paint a startling picture.